hello guys welcome back today we will discuss about the pause and force table how we can force a io that means how we can bypass a physical io hmm, from your force table okay i have to sample program here here in motor fc i have some input output in configure something so i am going online see this i 0 0.2 is now um, 0 and if we, if it is your uh, if you download this program to your physical cpu not the virtual cpu in your simulation that time if you want to simulate this io you have to go to your input and give a pulse or 24 volt supply to this input that time it will go high and your motor command will generate if the ft high but if you don't want to go there or um, um, if you have no um, wiring with this io you can force it from your force table so i am going to force table i already added some tag here i will delete it again i am adding here is the motor av is a tag that uh, addresses i0.0 so if i write motor here or we can write here directly the uh, I input address see here motor underscore av is a is the tag but clone p it's uh, indicate that this io is is a physical periphery io physical input not memory input or variable in uh, the data it is a physical input periphery input and i am also adding another memory bit that is called a reset and it's a plug memory 10.1 i am adding this also or you can write here also reset and reset is a push button so reset underscore pb is a push button it is a physical address but reset is a swap tag with a plug memory okay now one thing you can say that you cannot force the io physical io from here it will not forcing from here you cannot force you can modify the value but the plug memory plug tag you can force it from here you can force it from here okay okay but in force tag you also same thing that reset m10.1 you can force from the um, instruction network instruction but you cannot force here you cannot force from here see you cannot force from here but same way uh, this i o you can force you cannot force from here but you can force from here 
you can proceed here now io is 0 io 0, 0 is 1 that's why it is nc is now no also you can check that io value 0, 0 is true or false from your plc tag table go there you can check the motor av tag going online now see that it is true it is true and if any io is false mm, it will show a letter f red mark and also also in your plc led maintenance led will glow as a yellow in your physical plc also you can see in this um, virtual simulation uh, simulator plc it show a led maintenance led it will glow this way you can force a periphery tag or periphery io and the flag tag flag memory bit okay thank you